Welcome to CTN Videos. Today we have a video from our iOS Tips and Tricks series about how to use assistive touch in iOS 5 and 6. Right before I get started, I want to send a quick shout out to viewers, especially our subscribers. This is a series that is viewer um, supported. If we get a lot of likes and views, we will continue to do this series as long as we can. Our last video, we only got 14 views and one like and one dislike so far. That isn't very encouraging, so we might just do this series for about one week. If we do get a lot of views, then we'll be encouraged to do even more videos and other series very similar to this. Okay, let's get started. So first, you want to unlock your phone. Then open settings. When you're in settings, go to general. Scroll all the way down to accessibility, the second to last option. Once you're there, you're going to have a subtitle vision, hearing, learning, physical mo and motor. You're going to choose assistive, assistive touch under physical and motor. Once you're there, once you're there, you are going to choose to tap you, you want to choose on for assistive touch. And as you can see, it pops this little button up here. And so far, it does pretty much what the home button does, mainly is Siri and home. And if your home button is broken or you have a hard time pressing the home button or it's just not responsive any, as responsive anymore, then this is a good feature instead of having to buy a new iPhone for a while. Then you can create new gestures. So we're going to create one and we're just going to slide across the opposite direction. And we're going to save that and we're just going to call swipe. I'm going to call it swipe 2 actually. Okay, so now you can do a gesture and I'll show you that. So if you don't want to do gestures, you don't have to, but I will, will show you that because this is part of the feature. So for the home button part, you have your Siri. And you see it works normal, except you don't have to hit your home button. Home. And then you have another option called device. Now it'll give you your lock screen. You can rotate the screen. As you can see, you can do upside down, portrait, right and left. And you have back. Volume up, volume down, more. Then you have gestures. They're just preset gestures that don't work very good. You can have shake, which is just not, doesn't really use the accelerometer. just tells your iPhone to do a certain feature that the app is requiring right now. And multitasking. And, and you can hold down the home button too for Siri. So it's really nice if your home button's broken, you have trouble tapping the home button too. You also have screenshot. So it's really nice. Now let's get to the gestures. So you can see you have your pinch to zoom. That will be there. You don't have to make it. You have scroll up, scroll down, swipe to, and unlock. And I made all of these right here. So let's open Safari. And I'll show you the scroll up and I'll show you pinch, scroll up, scroll down, and swipe to and unlock. I'll show you on the home screen later. So we'll do pinch. And you see, you think you'll have to put two fingers down, but you don't. You just tap on one of them and drag. Tap and drag. It's a little complicated. To, it's kind of a weird type of way of doing it. You cannot zoom out, which is weird. You can, you probably, you should be able to make your own zoom out though. And then go back to favorites and we'll go to scroll up. Now scroll up, we'll just, you tap it and it does that. Just as if you were doing it, and as you were, if you were real, physically doing it, scroll down. You tap anywhere you want, and then uh, unlock. So I'm going to go to the home screen, the lock screen, and I'm going to do unlock, and I'm just going to tap right there, and it unlocks it for me, which is really nice, but I don't prefer it because it's a little bit harder. And I'm going to show you that also. Unlock, you can tap, and it'll scroll like that. And then favorites, you can do swipe too, and it'll swipe, which is really cool. But I mean, if you don't, if, 
your home button works fine. I wouldn't recommend this if you can, you know, use it. But this is a really nice feature that can hold you over to a, to a new iPhone, like an iPhone 6, if your iPhone 5 home button broke already, it, or you don't have an iPhone 5. It'll just hold you over to a new generation of an iOS device. And maybe one day they'll eliminate it and make it touchscreen, so you won't have to worry about that problem, just like this feature. So thank you for watching CTN videos. As I said in the beginning, we really like the encouragement and we might not do this much longer if we don't get the encouragement. But we do have a Windows 8 tips and tricks. So we'll have how to install Windows 8 and much more on how to use Windows 8, which will be really helpful for the new popular operating system. Please subscribe so when as we are doing this, you get the videos, especially for the Windows 8 one. And thank you.